Hello and welcome to this updated version of how to get your Waves plugins working in Studio One. Huh. Part two. My first video I did this has got um, a lot of people um, thanking me with a lot of gratitude that it actually gets to work. So I'm very happy that I can help people. Hopefully I can help people with this one. This is a couple of weeks after the great Waves bombshell of um, <laughs> the the the, the non-perpetual license rubbish but anyway that aside um we're still having problems um i'm still having problems and i'm sure you guys are if you're watching this with how to um get your waves plugins to work in whichever door you're working i happen to be working in studio one so this is what you want to see in studio one which is that some plugins will be updated next time you start studio one and that's all my shells okay how did i get this is if I press that, I was in Plugin Manager and I pressed Update Plugin List. This is the new great way that Studio One has sort of uh, solved the problem that uh, in my first uh, video you had to go outside of Studio One and do some jiggery pokery, some magic magician stuff. Um, so this is far easier, so that's nice. Thank you to Studio One for um, solving this issue. You basically just have to update plugin list. What I've done, what I did actually was I took, um, no, let's see. I, I don't actually know if it makes a difference, but anyway, I deselected all, went down to waves, just selected the waves plugins and uh, checked uh, VST3. Waves by me, uh, they, they do audio units and VST3. There are no VST2 and there are no native ones. But I don't use audio units, but hey, you can do it either way. I don't know if this actually makes a difference, but anyway, if you press update plugin list, it does a plugin scanner like you do at the beginning if you start up with that. There you go. And this you get. When you do the startup, um, I don't get this, but now it has done it. If I now close this, what I was getting was, for example, that some of my plugins were working, some not. The Reddit that I'd updated, if I added it to my computer, uh, to a song, it just wouldn't turn up. Same thing with the MV2, as an example. Just nothing happens. Whereas the Maserati, which wasn't updated, I can bring in, and it does this, which is another problem I have, which is that it's a quarter of screen, and that I can't just work on this, but what happens is as you see, I have to pretend. I have to imagine where the plug, uh, where the, where the, where the the item is. I want to change, and then um, if I open this up, we can see if I've got it or not. Um, whoop, there. Now you can see that I've grabbed the 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 stereo. Uh, no, the sensitivity, and and I'm kind of like you see my mouse is up here, so it's completely messed up, um, and I'm using a Mac from 2018. Anyway, I would have to update that, but I'm screw, screw waves, I'm not going to update it. Anyway, so move that. So this is at the moment not working, even though I've updated it, but that's because I haven't started Cuba. Uh, haven't started, I said, I said that rude word, Cubase, um, started uh, uh, Studio One. So what I'll do is I'll quit Studio One and we'll say, yeah, we'll say, no, we won't because I haven't done anything to this song. And then I'll start Studio Juan again. Um, yeah, I'll do it like that. That's uh, Command Space, so Studio One Six, and then do that. That's the easiest way. And you can see that I was on their website there, just updating my, seeing what the hell was going on with Waves. Now you got the plugin scanner. For me, I always have the plugin scanner on when I go up. And now you can see that it's going through the different uh, versions. Great, and it'll do it again. That's the, what you want to see. Take it nice and easy. And we should be good to go. That only happens once, but every time the next time you do it, it won't it will just zip through it quickly because it's done it already. So let's uh, let this um, start up. And I'll just, I mean, basically you've seen what it does. This is just to show you that it, or show myself as well that it works because I haven't done this before. So, I mean today. Um, yeah, it's loading everything. It's going to load the samples in Sample Tank because I've got it on a slow drive because my 
fast drive doesn't have enough space, so all the samples have to do that. And that's all done. Melodyne into the song. Let's open up the. Uh, yeah. Let's open up the browser and we'll go down to waves. And okay, so you can see uh, we were looking for the update. These are my plugins I've got from them. I'm trying to get wean myself off. We're going to wean myself off those. Half of them I don't use. So the Maserati, that still gives me that problem. But the MV2, which was updated, now works. And also the red. 37 which is a no, it feel, it's got a nice sound also works so totally as I'd expected um, now let's just get rid of them uh, remove remove and remove and go update your plugins be fun um, how you get to those that plugin view is you go to view by the way and you come down to plugin manager that's one of a few ways you can find it that's probably the easiest way and just press that update plugin list and you should be and restart your computer restart not your computer restart studio one you should be good to go hope that helps uh, made it quicker as well because people were talking about uh, my last video being too long i am the midi doctor if you want to hire me out great send me a message and i'll help you online or if you're in uh, the area of amsterdam in holland um, i can come and uh, uh, visit you and uh, till the next one and uh, um, if you can wean yourself of Waves uh, plugins, I think you'll give yourself a lot less headaches in the future, as I am going to do. Um, we're living in the world of many other good, great plugins. Okay, thanks for watching and listening. Bye.